I think this is an occasion for mixed emotions for all of us. Um, I know they are for me. I, one part of me says, wait till I get my hat, I'll go with you. <laughs> <laughs> and the other part, I know, is the regret that we feel is about your leaving. But uh, Ted Bell has come into a position here exerted a leadership at the federal level, which at the same time did not in any way impose on or interfere with local and state jurisdiction with regard to education. He took the reports of the Commission on Excellence in Education and carried them nationwide to the place that I think changes have been made at state and local levels in education that are going to have a bearing on children for many years to come. And so he has been Secretary of Excellence. <laughs> <laughs> Carry that word far and wide. We're going to miss him very much. Very seldom does someone have a chance to come into a position for about four years and in those four years be able to see such tangible evidence of success as he is able to take with him as he leaves us now. He has done the job more than the way it should be done. He has been a friend and finds secretary in that job, and I think all of us wish him a happy return to where he wants to go. And uh, Ted will miss you. And I have a little just souvenir for the two of you here. That Thank you. So you won't forget us. <laughs> and it's been a, just a joy to serve in your cabinet. I've said uh, kiddingly, since I'm so short, that I'm the runt of the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> and we have rank according to when we were established, and I'm 13th out of the 13, but you've always been so good to me, and I appreciate that. And you helped so much in the dissemination effort of the report. I don't know if everyone here knows, but the president participated in two of our forums, and he gave a major keynote, keynote address at the National Forum in, in Indianapolis. He's given 51, according to my count, Mr. President, major addresses on uh, education. And I said last night at the banquet, uh, when they were celebrating uh, getting rid of me, Mr. President, and, uh, I used the uh, comment about uh, when E.F. Hutton speaks, uh, people listen. And I said, the reason that I've had what little success I have is when the president speaks, people listen. And this president has spoken more on education than any other president in modern times. I think at any time. praising me for something that was a lifelong dream of mine, that the teachers had to sit and listen while I talked. <laughs> thank, thank, God bless you. Thank, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, President. Great happiness back there where you're going. Now, Mark has to leave here and take final exams. He's a third-year student at law school, so we need to send him <laughs> straight <on. laughs> This is a good send-off. <laughs> well, thank you. So you could, you could inspire all kinds of Will Rogers jokes from me at our <laughs> board. <laughs> well, all right. I have to go across the street now. Somebody's having an office Christmas party. I've survived several of them so far. But, uh, well...
God bless you. And thank, thank you thank again. You. Thank all of you. All right. Thank you. This resembles the candelabra that is lit in the temple and it commemorates an event in which a handful overcame a mighty army and it symbolizes the victory of light over might and it also celebrates the, the triumph of freedom of religion for religion, not from religion. This spirit that we're going to do. Thank you very much. I'm very proud and pleased to have this. I'm very proud and pleased to have this. And I don't know whether I have the nerve to try this or not, but I'll try it to, in this particular season. May not be able to say it right. Hog Sameo. Excellent. Happy <laughs> 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 the holiday. Excellent. We bring you, of course, the wishes of all the communities that we represent in 80 centers and primarily at the head of our movement, the world renowned Rabbi Schneers and all the Babacha Abbas. Well, I'm greatly honored and I thank you very much. Thank you. I'm very blessed for the First Lady. I certainly shall. God bless you. Yeah. President for your constituent in California, your home state. Yeah. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Service. I thank you for 
seven of them as opposed to the project. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity, sir. And I have okay. I know you have a great sense of humor. Since I'm going over with Bob Gray and doing some lobbying, I thought I'd show the epitome of lobbying. People from hearing impaired were trying to get to a stamp, and I'm going to issue one someday. They were lobbying me for it. They're rushing in this picture right after you decided to wear your appliance. <laughs> <laughs> that's your souvenir. <laughs> now that's the epitome of lobbying. <laughs> well, I have a little souvenir for you so your papers won't get blown away or anything. Something to remind you of what you've been doing for all these years. I'm glad you be helpful in the future, sir. Well, I'm ready. Oh, I think that's wonderful. Thank you. Good. Good luck. Thanks very much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Um, no, who is that, who is that teller? <laughs> Make your photo look a little nicer. There you go. Helen, hi. How are you? Uh, very well. Thank you. Well, well, good to see you. I wish you well. You. So, how are those draft horses coming? Oh, they're fine. I've got uh, 24 of them bred to a red jack. I bought in there. Uh, Kentucky, so we're going to get some mules next year. Red well, mule. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a picture of it if you want to. Well, this thank you. Well, while well, Mrs. Reagan was working on this scout thing <coughs> down in Los Angeles, I was working on it in Tulare in Kings County. Hey. And uh, we were, they raised more money, they said, than they ever did before. Well, that's great. By using my picture. And uh, here's my picture when I was four years old over here. Um, there's little boys wore dresses and wore the hair long. <laughs> There's some of those horses. Yes. You have a younger son. Anyway, you, you might want to look at that. Oh. Well. Tell a little bit about me. All right. Well, guy, well, we're going to miss you, but uh, thank well, you for what you're doing. I've got to stop sometime. <laughs> you can write a couple of letters if you would. I have a brother, next younger than I, who's dying of cancer. And uh, he couldn't walk, but he got somebody to take him down to the ballot box to vote. And they brought the ballot out to him, he marked it, and the witness took it in and put it in the ballot box. He said he was going to vote, vote one more time for Ron Reagan. Oh. So you might Do you have his uh, address here, Alan? Yes, I have it here. That's, that's his address on the top of my card. Yeah. And, uh, this is my oldest son and his wife, and son and daughter-in-law, their addresses. And they work real hard to get you, you elected as. Well, what's, what's her name? Darla, D-A-R-L-A. D -A, that's a D, yeah. Darla. Yeah. All right. Well, I certainly will. Yeah. I'd appreciate well, it. Instead of, a, instead of a letter, or maybe both the, well, yes, for your brother, both the uh, picture. Yeah, sure. All right. I want you to read that and I'll take you right off. What you need to do on this budget thing, sir. All right. As a matter of fact, agriculture is going to be a big part of Yes, you're right. I didn't yes. see the talking points. All right. Yeah. Seven to 1974 to raise the first billion. It's taken us 10 years to raise the second billion. And thanks to your help and leadership, in the last two years we've raised 366 million new dollars, additional dollars. Over 10%, and we thank you for the help you've given the example you've given. Well, this is little enough on my part. Congratulations for what you've done for this reaching the two billion 
dollar mark. Uh, I think it's just wonderful. Mr. President, uh, Julie is uh, with Loretta Lynn, uh, did two films for us. At, at the age of five, uh, she, they found she had a severe hearing problem. They took her to a United Way agency. Uh, she uh, is deaf and dumb, and so her mother's interpreting it to her now. And she uh, went to a clinic, and she got a hearing. Uh, they went through all the tests, and went to the training. And so we did a film with her when she was just five with Loretta Lynn, and we just did another film with Loretta Lynn here it is, 13 years later, she just turned 18, and the world girl's done a remarkable job. She's a champion runner, a competitor. No, I know that she has ambitions to, for the Olympics. And I hope very much that she make it. I think that's wonderful, the help that she's been, what you're doing, and uh, now to have that dream, the Olympics, I think is wonderful, and I wish you all success. And here is a pin with the presidential seat. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And you should have one too. Oh, thank you. And uh, Bob? Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, thank you, Mr. President. Good thank seeing you, and I thank you very much for the time. Well, appreciate it.